Hi, welcome to an introduction to uh, Qigong uh, internal arts uh, for Maggots Martial Arts. Uh, just to give an opportunity for people to learn a little bit about uh, what we are trying to accomplish in our internal arts and Tai Chi program. Uh, first of all, let's talk a little bit about Qigong. Uh, Qigong is uh, quite often what people are looking for uh, when they're coming to a Tai Chi class as much as anything else. Uh, many people come to the Tai Chi program looking for uh, something that's going to help with health and range of motion, strength, balance, uh, vitality. Uh, Qigong really addresses a lot of that and it's a big part of our program. Uh, some things to keep in mind when you're working on Qigong is that the goal of Qigong is to learn how to uh, get in touch with the body, how to understand how the body moves, and in particular, to spend time working on a concept of what's called sung, this idea of release and relax. Uh, and there's a few terms that we'll, we use throughout this, but what we want to remember with Qigong is that it's based on the idea that the body needs to move through its range of motion on a regular and ongoing basis in order to keep that range of motion and maintain that range of motion for the long term. So Qigong is a long-term study uh, with the idea that we go uh, long-term work for long-term gains. So we're not looking for short-term push, push, push. Uh, short-term gains tend to disappear uh, in, the, in the short term. What we're looking for is, is a long-term uh, ability to maintain and develop our range of motion, balance, and flexibility. So as a primary uh, concept that we'll be working on is going to be this idea of releasing and relaxing excess tension in the body. So the majority of tension in the body is uh, both uh, unconscious and chronic. That means we don't realize that we are maintaining and keeping these, these points of tension in the body and we do it all the time. So one of the main things to keep in mind when you're starting with the Qigong is you should try as much as possible to become more and more aware of the body. Uh, and we, we talk about scanning with the mind and, and working our way through the body so that we can find those areas, uh, become conscious of the areas that we are holding that tension in and work towards releasing that tension as part of the program that we're working on. So that means, uh, you know, the push, push, push idea of strengthening is not what we're going to approach in the Qigong uh, in the same way as may, we might in some other aerobic style uh, workouts. What we're trying to do is get out of our own way in a lot of the cases because so often those chronic tension points are what are reducing our range of motion uh, and once we start to uh, get comfortable with tension our body starts to modify around it and then we end up with chronic long-term issues in range of motion and, and joint function and things of that sort. So instead of trying to push deeper and looking for results based on how far I can move into a posture, uh, our results are gonna be about, can I release as much tension out of the technique as possible? So you're gonna enter a technique and while you're in that technique, the focus is not gonna be about how do I pull harder? How do I make this work more? It's gonna be about how do I get out of my own way? How do I relax? How do I release muscle groups? And how do I let go of that, um, that tension? First becoming aware of it by mentally scanning through the body during your exercise program. And then how do I use the mind? How do I use the yi to help release tension in the body so that I can increase my health and range of motion. Uh, the other thing that takes into account is that the function of the internal organs uh, has, an, has an effect on the overall health of the body. So a lot of the motions and movements are based on moving and turning and, and, and shifting in the internal cavity so that we're kind of massaging and moving those internal organs around. The principles come from uh, a lot of the Taoist principles of balance. And so the idea is that uh, health is a pursuit of being balanced both physically and mentally, uh, as well as having balance in the way the body functions. Uh, too much tightness is unhealthy. Uh, complete lack of tone and muscle work is also unhealthy. And so we're always pursuing this balance um, so that we can find that sort of middle path 
where health is most advantageous.